Hello everyone, it is sunset and it's getting cold fast, so let me show you what I've done. All right. So what I did was I made that paper pattern from the other side and transferred it over to here and I cut this edge where the opening is. All right, once I did that, I got a piece of my foam and I put it against the back edge over here. Uh, kind of hard to see, there we go. And I traced that curve of that deck lid onto the foam. Then on this other side, I drew a line, you can't see it because it's buried, but I drew a line along the curve, the outside curve. All right. Then I took some of the uh, clear packing tape and put it against this foam because if you can see where the tape stopped, the uh, fiberglass resin attacks the foam. Not horribly like it does with styrofoam, but it still attacks it. I should have put another couple of rows of uh, tape, but oh well. Um, so then I took this and cut fiberglass cloth, a layer first, then I cut fiberglass mat, and then I cut roving, which is like a ropish, really thick uh, fiberglass cloth. So first I put down the fiberglass cloth because it's flexible and I wanted it to bend over the edge after I was done. Uh, on top of that, I put the fiberglass mat because it does corners better than the cloth. And then finally I put the uh, roving on the back. Now the roving I purposely cut to be right up to the edge because I really wanted it under the lip of the edge. Okay, so if you come over here and see, there's the fiberglass cloth, there's the fiberglass mat, and you can barely see, there's what the roving looks like. Like I said, it's almost rope-like uh, cloth. All right, so it is actually underneath uh, the lip of this, all right? And then is the mat, and then is the cloth. Then I took this piece of foam and I taped it up against the edge. And then in the middle, it needed a little help. So I used something heavy, which happened to be my uh, fiberglass, a full can of fiberglass resin. And then I used duct tape to hold it. So now you can see that the foam follows the edge right there, okay? And then I bent the edge, since I had extra material sticking up here that was cloth and uh, fiberglass mat, I took my brush and I bent it over and filled in that gap. When I did, the cloth kept trying to bend back up. So what I did was I got some more of the uh, clear uh, box tape, put it on top, and then I ran my finger across here to force it down all right so once this cures i'm going to remove the piece of foam and tape and what i'll have is this will follow the edge it'll just have extra right there so I'll, of course i'll have to sand that uh, down and smooth it all out but my goal my main goal was to have the inside edge that's against this foam that you can't see be absolutely flat and smooth so i don't have to be sanding on this edge if you look where i did this earlier it came out okay. Uh, it could have come out better. Ideally, that edge inside of there will be absolutely smooth and flat and won't require any body work. Not a big deal if it does, but obviously the less body work I have to do, the better. Now, someone had suggested using just body filler, but the problem is that this whole thing has to come off. And I really need to reinforce it from the backside to make it strong and get rid of all of this foam and plaster and all the other stuff that I put on there so it'll be as lightweight as possible. And then I'll go in the back and add a layer of fiberglass or actually probably the roving uh, so I can do it in one layer. But anyway, I'll stiffen everything up. But what I don't want is for everything to crack or break when I take it off of here. So if it's all fiberglass, it'll be strong enough that it won't crack or break. Um, if I just do it in um, plaster or body filler, if it's a thin section, it's going to crack and break. Uh, plaster really, especially so, you can see as I was sanding this, the plaster started breaking off. Um, I was using the vibrating cutter and the vibration caused this to crack. 
So that's going to have to be replaced with a body filler um, or fiberglass, doesn't matter, one or the other. Um, okay. Anyway, um, with the weather like it is, it was a short day, so I didn't get a whole lot done, but it's getting there piece by piece. All right. So tomorrow I've got a body guy that offered to come off, come over and look at stuff and help. So I'm going to get his advice and say, hey, here's where I'm at. What can I do? What can you do? And we'll go from there. All right, that's it for today. So go ahead, like, subscribe, uh, hit that little alert button, the little bell, and I will see you next time. Bye.